is the diet and you can title it um, building on <clears throat> how are we building on, on on his foundation I think that's what it was yep how are we building on our foundation on our foundation how are we building on our foundation but uh, that was that title and today's title I haven't named it but um, it's it's straight street ministries uh, it will be our uh, one year anniversary Amen. this ministry started in September 11th of last year 2019 and Amen. and they began in a basement we began in our basement and um, and uh, it was just me and my wife Irene we we started on 9-11 and uh, and uh, it was funny because I was looking at the scripture that it came from and that it's in Acts 9-11 for all you, uh, for everyone out there that's into these superstitions and, and what have you, this this work began on 9/11 and and it came from a scripture in Acts 9/11 and uh, the Lord he he gave me the he gave me the word um, or the uh, he gave me the name Straight Street many years ago. So I'm going to be reading Matthew 16. So yeah, the name, the title for today's sermon will be uh, Straight Street Ministry. It's just a baby. <laughs> Straight Street is just a baby. Yeah. I'm going to be reading from Matthew 16, 16, 18. <clears throat> and it reads as follows. And I say also unto thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Amen. So the gates of hell will not prevail against this church. And then I'm going to read 1 Corinthians 3, 10. So 1 Corinthians 3, 10, 10 and 11. Says it reads as follows according to the grace of God which is given unto me as a wise master builder, I have laid the foundation and another buildeth thereon. But let every man take heed how he buildeth thereupon. For other foundation can no man lay than that is laid, which is Jesus Christ. So this foundation is is founded on on Jesus. This apostolic doctrine mm -hmm. is founded on Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Dear God, in Jesus' name, I thank you, Lord, for the privilege and the honor that I have to stand before your people and to teach and to preach what you put in my heart. In Jesus' name, let these words not return back empty, Lord. Let them go and do what they're supposed to do. In Jesus' name, Thank you, Jesus. And like always, we invite your presence into this place. Yes. Let your glory fill this house, yes. Jesus, that you may walk amongst this yes. place, amongst your people, Jesus. For you're welcome in this place, Lord. You're welcome in this place, Lord. You're, you're, 
You can sit in this place, Jesus. You don't have to be outside knocking to come in, Jesus, for you're welcome in this place, Lord Jesus. For we, we are called by your name. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Have your way, Jesus. Have your way in the name of Jesus. Amen, amen. You may be seated. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And uh, so on the... You know, a long time ago, um, the Lord gave me a dream, and in this dream, me and Irene, we uh, we were, I want to say in California, you know, we uh, they had a lot of earthquakes out there, and and uh, we were we were out there, and um, in this dream, and and all around us, these um, <clears throat> it seemed like the earth, the earth, the ground was cracking and breaking, and and you can see just the you can see all around the the ground where where it was like like on fire almost like lava like lava around it and and that's what came to mind this scripture that says that that thou art peter and upon this rock i will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it amen so so this work, that this ministry, this ministry, the gates of hell will not prevail against this ministry because this ministry is founded. It's founded on the foundation of the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, I was also going to read, um, let's see if I can find it. Um, let's see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to Acts nine and eleven, just to to show you and to to see where where this came from. Amen. Because you know this this was founded. You know this this church, this apostolic doctrine, this apostolic church um, was founded on the. The doctrine of the apostles. It was founded on on that doctrine, and the Bible says that Jesus Christ Himself was the chief cornerstone. He was the chief cornerstone of this apostolic doctrine. Amen. So it's it's continuing, it's continuing, and it's going to continue here at Straight Street. Apostolic Pentecostal Ministries. Yes, this yes. is where it's going to continue also. Yeah. And not only here, but hopefully in other places. Amen. Yes. Hopefully there's others out there that are going to continue this apostolic doctrine. Yes. You know, we just chose to to begin this work. You know, we uh, the Lord the Lord told me to start this work. Yeah. He told me to start this work. He said, build it. And they will come. He said, build it and they will come. And I'm like, Lord, what do you mean build it? What do you mean build it? You know, you have to be in it, Lord. You have to be in this work. You have to be in it. You know, and everything that, <clears throat> everything that, um, that I teach and preach, you know, is going to be founded on the Word of God. Amen. When I said... When the Lord told me to build it, and they will come, you know, we were still in the, in the basement there, and and you know, we we did, we, we did, and and the Lord, He's bringing, He's bringing people. He's gonna, He brought you here yes. today, yes. And, and with the help of the Lord, it's gonna, the Lord's gonna continue bringing people. Yes. And, you know, it seems like I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Right. You know, when I said, build it and they will come. In Psalm 127, 1, I know I said Acts, but I got ahead of myself. But, you know, the Lord said, build it and they will come. And this is what he says. And, you know, everything the Lord says, it has to be founded on the Word of God. The Lord isn't going to tell you something 
that goes against his word. That's right, amen. You know, there's prophets out there prophesying, and, and the Bible says we, we're going to know them by the doctrine they teach, by the message, by what, what, what's the message. And um, so in Psalm 127, one says, except the Lord build the house. See? Yes. Except the Lord build the house. Amen. So when he told me, build the house, I knew. I said, Lord, you have to be in it. Right. And then he says, they labor in vain that build it. See? That's, that's where I don't, I don't want to labor in vain. Right. I don't want to labor in vain because we built this place. I want the Lord to be, build this house. Yes, yeah. <clears throat> The Lord has to be the foundation of this house. Because yes. I don't want the things that I do to be in vain. Right. Amen. Because it can't be that way. Right. And then it goes on to say, Except the Lord keep the sitting, the watchman waketh but in vain. See, the watchman waketh but in vain. I don't... See, the Lord, he, He's made me the watchman of this place. Yes. I'm the watchman here at Straight Street. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> I, don't wanna, I don't want this word to be in vain. Right, because the Lord has to be in it. Yes. Amen. The Lord has to be in the work that we do. Yes. Amen. That's why I, every time I pray, every time I begin this service, I want to include the Lord in everything we do. Everything I do, whether in church or at home, at work, on the job, I ask the Lord to be in it. Yes. I invite the Lord to be in everything that I do. Right. Everything. You know, there. Um, I was at work um, maybe two days ago, and <clears throat> one of my workers was shooting up uh, shots and some wire into the ceiling. And they just kept, uh, they wouldn't stick to the ceiling, concrete ceiling. He, he put it up there and he'd shoot it in there and it'd just come crashing down. And, and I didn't tell him, but when I got there, I, and he was telling me that they just kept coming down. And he says, you want me to put it in the same spot? And I'm like, no, move it, move it over. And then before he shot it, I said, in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. And then it stayed. <laughs> but everything I do, I include the Lord in everything. Yes, amen. amen. Because that's the way it's supposed to be. We need to include God in everything we do. Yes, amen. When we keep the, Lord, the commandments of the Lord, the Bible says, then you will have good success. Yes. You want to be successful out there in this world? Keep the commandments of the Lord That's and you right. will be successful. Yes. Amen. Amen. You will have good success. Yes. Amen. <clears throat> I was telling the Sunday school class how the Lord, he'll, he'll make a difference in your life and, and like he has in mine. Yes. Amen. I began working for this company and... <clears throat> as an elect electrical and electrician and, and I didn't go in there. I was a boss at my other job and I went in there and I didn't go in there as a boss, as a foreman. I went in there as a regular journeyman and then I get there and then I start, just started just taking over. Just started taking over the blueprints and seeing where we're at and pretty soon, not even long, week or two or you know they're handing me the iPad and I'm helping the foreman and I'm, I'm doing time sheets and <clears throat> you know and I'm just taking over there and and then they they moved me I wasn't even there six months and and they moved me from that job to to another job where they were going to have me be a foreman and I was saying how they interviewed me there. Mm -hmm. Just to be a foreman, they interviewed me. Um, that was unheard of, you know. And they're like, can you do this job? They hand me a blueprint, a bunch of 
your paperwork, a stack of paperwork. Do you know what this is? Can you do this? Yeah, I could do that. Of course. And um, so they gave me the job position of a foreman. And then after that, they asked me if they said, I hope you're not afraid to fly. And, and the, another thing that's unheard of, you know, and they, they sent me to, <clears throat> to Pennsylvania and then I was gonna go to some other place. And, but I couldn't go at the end because I'm uh, busy, busy trying to catch up. And, but the Lord, he'll make you successful. He'll pick you out of all those many other, um, I was going to say electricians, but not everyone's <laughs> electricians, but whatever you do, he'll pick you out of all those other workers, yes. and he'll, you'll come up, you'll excel in, in your trade, you'll excel in whatever you do yes. as a people of God, as a child of God, because as the people of God, we're supposed to do our work as unto the Lord. Amen. You do your job as unto the Lord and, and you'll be noticed. Yes. You'll be noticed. People will look at you and they say, they'll they see something different inside of you. Yes. Or they won't see inside of you, but they'll see something different in you. Yes. Because as the people of God, we are the salt of the earth. We are the light of this world. That's and, right, amen. And the Lord, he'll elevate you. Amen. amen. Just like he did Joseph. Amen. Joseph, he elevated him. Amen. amen. And <clears throat> pretty soon, was it Joseph? The one with the, um, he, he, Pharaoh gave him the, mm -hmm. in charge of everything. Yes. Yeah. Char in charge of everything because of the famine that was in the land. Mm -hmm. You interpreted these dreams. Who better? Right. Who better to to take over, to oversee this yes. this work? And, oh, and they elevated him. The Lord elevated him. <clears throat> so that's what the Lord will do for you. Oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. So just remain faithful and and. Uh, Keep the commandments of the Lord. Yes. Keep the commandments of the Lord. Amen. Amen. And just like I was saying, you know, we're going to do what the Bible says here in this place yes. as Straight Street Ministries because Amen. we want the Lord to be in everything we do. Right. And, uh, so Jesus gave the name. I'm going to go to Acts 9 and 11. He gave the name. In Acts 9 11 <coughs> says, um, let's see. I'll read verse 10. And there was a certain disciple at Damascus named Ananias, and to him said, the Lord in a vision, Ananias. And he said, Behold, I am here, Lord. And the Lord said unto him, Arise and go into the street, which is called Straight. Mm -hmm. See? Mm -hmm. The Lord told Ananias, Go to a street called Straight. Mm -hmm. And inquire in the house of Judas for one called Saul of Tarsus. For behold, he prayed and hath seen in a vision a man named Ananias coming in and putting his hand on him that he might receive his sight. Amen. <clears throat> Amen. Amen. Then Ananias answered, Lord, I have heard by many of this man how much evil he hath done by this by thy saints at Jerusalem, or to thy saints at Jerusalem. And here he hath authority from the chief priest to bind all that call on thy name. But the Lord said unto him, Go thy way, for he is a chosen vessel unto me to bear. My name. Amen. 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 Thank you, 
before the Gentiles and kings and the children of Israel. For I will show him how great things he must suffer for my name's sake. So, <laughs> that's where uh, the Apostle Paul was converted yes. in a house on a on a on straight street. Yes, amen. Amen. Oh, and people think, oh, you know, he, when they say, oh, they think the ministry is going to be all this, this, and that, mm -hmm. all great. You know, people think that I think that. Oh, he thinks being a pastor, being this, is going to be all great and glorious. No, I never, I've never thought that. <clears throat> I've never thought that. I've always taken this position serious. Amen. Because I know. Because verse 16 says, For I will show him how great things he must suffer for my name's sake. See, the Apostle Paul, he had to suffer many things for the name of Christ. That's right, amen. For Christ's sake, yes. he suffered. Amen. So it wasn't all fine and dandy, whatever, however you call it, peaches and cream or whatever. It wasn't all glory and honor and everything. No, he wasn't always on that high horse. That's right. No, it wasn't all that. You know, he he suffered for the Christ's sake. Yes. Amen. They they wanted to stone him. They stoned him and, you know, left him for dead, you know, for preaching Jesus. That's right. So no way, preaching Jesus ain't always going to be that great. You know, because not everyone's going to, we're going to be persecuted for the name of Jesus. Right. Like I've said before, you can, you can say everything you want out there, pray, preach, whatever, we, about God and everything, but once you say Jesus, then it's then people have a problem with you. They have a problem with you. I've been worked at places where, oh no, you're not supposed to talk like that here. It's in those federal buildings, I believe. You you can't talk like that here. This this we don't talk religion here we don't talk Jesus here none of that this is federal this is federal ground no matter where it is amen, amen. if people need to hear the Lord yes they need to hear it yes where regardless of wherever it may be amen because God he ain't gonna hold back we're not to hold back amen we did everything they wanted to. Where would we be? We wouldn't. This work wouldn't be started. That's right. Amen. amen. But yes. you know, we're gonna. I'm gonna keep going. Yes, amen. amen. And so once in a while, the Lord would, when He gave me the name Straight Street. You know, it took a while for it to come to pass. Yeah. And once in a while, the Lord would remind me. Remember. Straight Street. And so the Lord would remind me to remind him, Lord, remember Straight Street. Because he, he didn't forget. That's, right. That's why he'd remind me. Amen. When I'd forget, he'd remind me, remember Straight Street, he'd say. Amen. Amen. So the Lord said to me, build it, and they will come. And I... And I read to you in Psalm 127 where the Lord said, <clears throat> unless the Lord built the house, they labor in vain. Mm -hmm. So we're not going to do that. Amen. No. Amen. No. Amen. Jesus Christ, he is the foundation of the apostolic church. Yes, he is. He's the foundation and, and we keep preaching in Jesus' name. Yes. And I'm going to go to Acts 5. In Acts chapter 5. Let's see. Acts 5, where am I going to start? Five thirty. 
four. This is the warning of Gamaliel. <clears throat> then stood in Acts five thirty four to I'll read to stop. Then stood there up one in the council a Pharisee named Gamaliel, a doctor of the law had a in reputation among all the people and commanded to put the apostles forth the little space <clears throat> and said unto them ye men of Israel take heed to yourselves what ye intend to do as touching these men for before these days rose up Thedas boasting himself to be somebody to whom a number of men, about 400, joined themselves, who was slain, and all, as many as obeyed him, were scattered and brought to naught. So I'm reading these scriptures to show you that, <clears throat> that this work, if it's of men, if it's of men, if it was just me, it'll come to naught. Just like it, there's examples here, Vedas mm -hmm. says that he was uh, slain and, and all his followers, 400, they scattered. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. After this man rose up Judas of Galilee in the days of the taxing and drew away much people. After him, he also perished, and all, even as many as obeyed him, were dispersed. See, there was another person, Judas. He also began a work, and they all dispersed. Yeah. Verse 38, And now I say unto you, refrain from these men, and let them alone. For if this counsel or this work be of men, it will become, it will come to naught. See, if this work, if it's of men, it's just gonna go away. It's just gonna go away. Everyone's gonna go their ways, Gamaliel says. And now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone for if this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to naught. Verse 39, but if it be of God, ye cannot overthrow it, right. lest haply ye be found even to fight against God. Mm. See? Mm. If it's against, if it's of God, yeah. you ain't gonna, you cannot overthrow this work. That's right, yeah. You're not gonna overthrow this work if it's of God. That's right. Amen. It says, lest ye be found even fighting against God. Mm -hmm. People are going to have to fight against God because this work is of God. Amen. Mm -hmm. It's of God, this work. Amen. And to him they agreed, and when they had called the apostles and beaten them, they commanded that they should not speak in the name of Jesus and let them go. And they departed from the presence of the council, rejoicing that they were counted worthy to suffer shame for his name. Amen. And daily in the temple and in every house, they ceased not to teach and preach in Jesus' name. Preach Jesus Christ. See, and the Lord, he, he told us to... Use his name. That's right. Use his name. Yes, he did. Use my name, Jesus. Yes. yes. Amen. Because that name, Jesus, has power. Yes. Amen. Yes. This this work is founded on that name, Jesus. Yes. He was the chief cornerstone. Amen. Amen. From that day, the Lord began to preach the kingdom of God, the yes. Bible says. The Lord com started to preach and teach the kingdom of God and so we, we that's what we do we, we teach and we preach the kingdom of God the Bible says for the kingdom of God is not it's it's peace and joy in the Holy Ghost amen amen 
And that's what we teach and preach in this place. We teach and preach holiness. The Bible says to follow peace with all men and holiness through the which no man shall see the Lord. Amen. There is no other name given among men whereby we must be saved. Amen. Everyone out there needs to be saved. They need to be born again. Like the Bible says, they need to be baptized in Jesus' name for the remission of sins. Yes. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And, and then they need to be born of the Spirit also, yes. which they need to receive the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in tongues. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So in this God, in this work, the Lord has shown that that He is behind this work. Yes, he, has. he has shown it. Yes. He's given testimony that He's behind this work yes. through the gifts of the Spirit. Yes. Amen. He's given the gifts of the Spirit to to you all. Amen. Amen. And the Lord has given testimony. Yes. Amen. Because this work, it's it's based on on that foundation yes. of Jesus Christ and we need to be careful how we build how we build on this foundation yes. we need to continue building on Jesus right. amen. amen this work needs to continue you know it's it can't be um it can't be like um <clears throat> you know when we're uh when you can't wait to to move away from your parents as teenagers. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't wait to move away, you know, so that you can do whatever you want to do. Mm -hmm. Right? Right. Just move away from your parents. Oh, I'm going to move away. I'm going to get to do whatever I want. I'm going to get to eat what I want. I'm going to get my own place. I'm going to get to eat all the sugar, the, the sugar cereal that I can eat. Amen. I'm going to eat it all because my mom and dad, they, they didn't let us eat that sweet sugar cereal. All right. And when I get my own place, I'm going to buy all those sweets. Right. I'm going to buy all those sweets till my teeth fall out. You know? But yet... You know, it's it's different when you get your own place and you learn that responsibility that pretty right. soon you find out that you yeah, shouldn't be eating all this stuff. You yeah. know, it, it's expensive and, you know, and you, you, you learn responsibility and you have to go back. Yes, amen. How did they do it? Right. You got to go back to to what you were taught. Yes. You got to go back to the way you were taught, the way you were trained. Yes. Right. You know, and so in this work, in this work and in this ministry, I can't just go off and do whatever I want. That's right. I can't do what I want. That's right. And I have to do what the Lord wants because it's right. His work. Yes. It's His church. Amen. Amen. I have to do what the Lord wants. He's the boss. That's right. Amen. He is the boss. Amen. Amen. Let's see what the Lord says. That's what does the God. Lord want us to do? Amen. Amen. That's what I that's what I fall back to. Amen. That's what I fall back. I fall back to what the Lord gave me. You know, he gave me a dream one time that that uh, as a horse, a horse is a minister, right? In those dreams, a horse is a minister, and this horse was alone, and and there was some food there, and and this horse wouldn't eat. This horse wouldn't eat, but then came the master and fed him out of his hand. Then this horse ate. This horse ate of the master's hand. So whatever the master has this horse would eat. Amen. So this horse, this this minister here could only eat what the Lord has. Amen. What the Lord gives me to eat, that's what I have to eat. And that's what I have to feed the people of God. What the Lord what the Lord gives me to eat. Yes. I'll eat it first. Amen. Preaching Preaching is for me first, and then I feed you. 
right. and I feed you because you know I um as as you know the word of God and as ministers you know we have to eat it first yes. we can't be we can't say do as I say not as I do you know, right. you know when people are when the parents are teaching their children mm -hmm. and they and they're being bad examples, they usually say, do as I say, not as I do, because they're being a bad testimony Amen. to their children. That's right. You know, they're they're there telling the children, hey, no smoking. You don't smoke children. You don't smoke son, daughter. And yet they're there smoking themselves. That's not the way you teach the children. You teach them by example. And you are teaching them. You're teaching them that it's okay to smoke. You know, you're teaching them. It's not what you say, it's what you do. Amen. So we teach by example. Amen. Because that's how they learn. That's how children learn. Yes. They learn what they see. Mm -hmm. So as the as the as the pastors and ministers, they have to do what the Bible says. Also, right. I have to do what the Bible says. Mm -hmm. I can't tell you to to do something I'm not willing to do. Amen. That's, right. That's not the way it works. Mm -hmm. That's not the way it works. You know, they're at work. I do the same. I do the same at work. Yeah. If I tell someone to do something, it's because I do, I'll do it too. Yeah. I'll do it myself. And I've done it myself. Mm -hmm. I've done it to show them that it can be done. Mm -hmm. It can be done and it can be done in a timely manner. You know, it, it doesn't take all day to do a job like that. I, you know, whatever task I give them, if if it, it's not supposed to take long, you know, I'll show them. Because I'm not afraid to, to put my tools on. Amen, right? Amen. I'll have my tools on and I'm ready to work too. Yeah, yeah. That's you know, because that's the way it's supposed to be. Yeah. The Amen. preachers, the pastors, they're, they're supposed to do the work also. Amen. Amen. This word of God, it's, it's for everyone. Yes. Amen. Amen. It's not... It's not for you only and we're exempt, no. Mm -hmm. We all have to make it the same. That's right. We all have to make it to heaven the same. That's right. Amen. Yes. So there is, <clears throat> it's not just for you, it's for me. Mm -hmm. Amen. So this gospel, you know, this work is going to keep going because we're going to include God in it. Yes. You know, we made it one year, yes. and with the help of the Lord, it's going to keep going. Yes. It's going to keep going, and it's going to just keep getting bigger and bigger. Yes. It's like that snow that, that's coming. Right. You make that snowball, and pretty soon you're, you're rolling it, mm -hmm. and it's getting bigger and bigger. Yeah. And that's the way this work is going to be with yes. the help of the Lord because we're going to include God yes. in everything we do. Yes. Amen. We include God and, and He'll make it happen. Yes. Amen. Because that's the way it is. You know, yes. we, we can't do it on our own. Many people have tried doing things on their own and, and they find out that it doesn't work. It does not work, and we need to include God, and it'll work. Yes. Amen. We include God in our lives. Yes. Amen. So that's, you know, that's pretty much all that I have. You know, we uh, we want to include God in everything we do. Yes. Amen. Yes. This work can only go forward if God is in it. That's right. Yeah. I gave examples Jesus. where. Where the Lord, where others tried, others tried doing the work, and it didn't, it came to naught. But when God is in it, oh, they have to come against God first. They have to go against God first. 
but we're on we're on the winning side. Yes, Amen. we are. We're on the winning side, so stay on the winning side because this work is gonna keep going. Yes. Amen. We need to to be there for for your loved ones. Yes. Amen. You need to be there for your loved ones so that so that they can make it. You yes. need to be an example, a testimony to them. Amen. Amen. So that they can come and give their lives to the Lord. Yes. You know, the the church body it begins with the family. Yes, it, it begins yes. with the families. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. Churches are built up with families. Yes, so it's the family, you know, that you just have to build up and be a testimony, and, and then they'll come. Yes. Then they'll come. The church, the church, when it first began, it first began with with the Jews. <coughs> it started in Jerusalem with the Jews first, and then it spread out to the Gent or the Samaritans that were half Jew and half Gentile. And then it went to the Gentiles. So it kept getting further and further as it kept growing and growing. And then it came back to, to the religious folks, back to the disciples of John. It came back to the disciples of John, those that knew some kind of religion that they needed. They needed a little more. They just needed that, that uh, the Holy Ghost. Yes. They needed the Holy Ghost and they needed to get baptized in Jesus' name. Amen. They were baptized unto John's baptism, right. but then they found out that they needed to be baptized in Jesus' name. Yes. And they did it. Yes. And then they receive the Holy Ghost. Yes. And then so it keeps going. It keeps going from there. Yeah. You know, there uh, think the scripture that I read in was it first Corinthians three. In first Corinthians three. Let me make sure. And first Corinthians three ten. Says, um, verse five. In verse five, um, mm. it says, "Who then is Paul, and who is Apollos, but ministers by whom ye believed, even as the Lord gave to every man." I have planted, Apollos watered, but God gave the increase. Mm -hmm. You know, God gives the increase, and even Apollos, even Apollos, before he was, um, before he he knew the truth, he he knew it up to a certain point. Mm -hmm. But then somebody came and they taught him a little more. You need to know this much. You need to do this. So they. The Bible says that they taught him the word of God more perfect or yes. something like that. But but Apollos, he had to learn a little more. He had to learn just a little bit more. And when he learned that, you know, he he also went out there, him and Paul, they were spreading the gospel. Amen. One of them planted, the other watered. Amen. But God gives the increase. Yes. Yes. Amen. So we... Uh, you know, we're gonna keep doing the work of God and He's gonna give the increase. Yes. Amen. Amen. We're, you know, this work will keep going. Yes. Amen. Like I start when I started, the gates of hell will not prevail against this church. That's right. He told Peter, Thou art Peter, and the gates of hell will not prevail against this church. Yes, amen. amen. The, so the gates of hell are not going to prevail against Straight Street. Yes. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. Because God is in it. Yes. They can fight against God. Amen. Amen. Because God is in it. Yes. Amen. So that's all that I have, and I invite you to the altar. Amen. Amen.